popped out the chat. God damn it. Got that orange shit again. Yeah. Let's see what happens. That orange shit! <laughs> Alright, so... Doesn't look terrible. Stream health is orange. What does orange mean? Okay, viewers may be experiencing minor issues. All right, well, that always starts off that way, so let's... Yep, we got green this time. All right! All systems go! Let's double-check with the viewers. What is up, Mikey Troma Trash? Um, can y'all hear both of us? Fuego, say hello. Que pasó, y'all? What's going on? What up, what up, what up, what up? I wonder if I should bring it up, too, so I can actually see what people are saying. I yeah, think go I... ahead. That's a good idea. It's never a bad idea, son. Never a bad idea. Never a bad idea. Um, Although I'll probably see some weird lag, I would imagine, right? Um, well, if you watch that window, yeah, there'd be a lag. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, guys. Uh, hey, everyone. Well, let me. I want to make sure we're hearing everything okay before we, we get into our announcement. Give some people some time to filter in while we mess around, Fuego. We mess around and say, what up? Okay. Yo, 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 yo. I guess I'll pull it up on my phone since Fuego is failing to do it on his. Uh, my phone isn't even near me. It's charging. Fuego is failing to do it on his. Wow, I wouldn't try. Go. Sounds good. Uh, my phone isn't even near me. It's charging. <laughs> Ah. All right, Mikey says, sounds good. <clears throat> no, dude, I was ticked because you know how I was saying the other day that uh, my phone just straight up wasn't charging, and so I ordered a new iPhone on Cyber Monday. Yep. They said it was going to be one to two days, and then I get an email from Verizon saying, hey, check it out. This isn't going to ship until the 12th of December. What? And I was like, you're kidding me, especially once we got the trip confirmed and everything. So I was like, okay, oh, no. I guess I I guess I got to go drop $60 on a new charge port because after troubleshooting with a couple guys I talked to, they're like, yeah, it's probably not the battery, it's the charge port. So it was only 60 bucks to fix the charge port on the phone, but nonetheless, I was like, I get a new phone and I'm not going to have it for over two weeks. It's That's a bummer. Fuck Verizon. <laughs> yeah. Well, and speaking of new phones, I got my brand new Note 9 here. Yeah, um, so longer with the Verizons. I, I abandoned the, uh, Apple. I abandoned Apple, that's Apple, it. Yeah. Um, I'm still in the Verizons, but I abandoned Apple. Um, so, all right. Well, let's uh, while the while everyone starts to filter in, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're gonna be doing here, guys. Um, Fuego, unfortunately, uh, was not able to join us the last time around when we did our trip to California. <laughs> I know it made him so bummed. Yeah, my heart was broken, but I played a damn good show with Chiron and good networking, a lot of fun. We booked a show. For you admit it, you still haven't watched the vlogs. No, it you hurts too much. Them. It, it hurts hurt too much. <laughs> oh, well, we're gonna go make our own memories, Fuego. Yeah, we will. Um, so it's gonna be fun. Actually, we're gonna definitely vlog the whole thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Fuego and I have probably about six or seven movie reviews that we have to record. While I, I want to do it while we're out there, like it'd be cool to do, um, but um, you know we, we might do it on the car just to kill some time. Uh, but basically, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of uh, the announcement. We can we can get to it a, a little bit. Well, I don't know. Maybe let's hold off a little bit more. Fuego, no, why don't we talk about some of the movies we're going to review? Yeah, well, uh, this past week, you and I both uh, got around to watching The Domestics, which was one that we did a trailer reaction for, and we're like, yeah, it looks kind of Mad Maxy, but more domestic, like Mad Max in the suburbs, almost, kind of thing, which, mm -hmm. I don't know, the, the trailer looked interesting, but I actually really enjoyed the hell out of that movie, especially the two leads, I want to say Kate Bosworth, and then I forget the... I forget the name of the other dude, but he's from Everybody Wants Some. You said he was on Teen Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, he's Superman in the... Supergirl series. In the Supergirl series, but he's also popping up in the Black Suit and the Ellsworlds crossover that they're doing. He's actually a damn damn good actor. I, I like that guy a lot. So, uh, yeah, the two of them are going through. They're trying to get from... Uh, where the, I know they're trying to get to Milwaukee. I forget what the starting point is, but there's all these different factions of, like, tribal gangs everything from cannibals to rapists to yeah, just crazy sniper world. yeah where the whole world has been what doused with chemicals and a good chunk of the population's been killed and stuff but the performances were good you could tell they were working on a small budget but 
great set design, and so that's one that, and just a lot of fun. That's one that I'm looking forward to talking about. Um, um, let's let's not what else get do we have? too much in depth, uh, but yeah, we also are going to be talking. Well, hopefully, if you can get your hands on it before then, another Wolf Cop. Yeah, sh shit. Yeah, that's one I need to make the time to watch. Dude, I'm telling you, that shit crossed <clears> the <throat> full moon territory this time. You said that in the group it, feed, and I was just like, oh, no! Yeah, it, it bummed me out, but anyway, I'll be interested to hear your opinion. The first one straddled the line well enough, but... No, this mean... one, no, this one, they <laughs> leaned one particular direction. Um, so, <laughs> we've got... Uh, we, uh, the we have more people showing up! Uh, yeah, up, Wences? Been a long time, brother. Holy crap, random randomness. Yes, 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 that is us. Indeed, 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 to the beast. Exactly, making some announcements here. So, yes, um, we're going to be talking about uh, the domestics. Uh, hopefully, we can talk about another wolf cop. Um, we're also going to be talking The Den. Did you get around to watching that yet? I am having... You said it's on Hulu, right? I believe so. Yeah, I'm, I guess I canceled my Hulu. Oh no! So I, I mean, I could try to reinstate it, but yeah, we'll we'll see. Well, if you, need you said that's in, a let me know. You said that's a quick one, right? Yeah, that one's really short. But they also have ghost stories on there, which is a um, another one from this year. So it's worth and Piwak it too. Yeah. So yeah, bottom line, guys, Cecil and I are trying to get as caught up on as many films as possible with only a month left in the year because we want to have the most comprehensive, best and worst of list possible because yep. we're going to be. Filming those reviews here in a few weeks. And honestly, so. I've really enjoyed it because I'm catching movies that I was like, damn, I'm really... Honestly, the best one I've seen so far is Into a Ghost Land. Or Incident in a Ghost Land. Um, that's, that's been my favorite one wow. that I just like randomly would not have watched. I kept hearing people say how good it is. Mm -hmm. And then um, I finally rented it at the House of the Used for a dollar one night. And it was really, really good movie. It like did so many different things. Not so many. It did different things with a few different horror tropes that yeah. we're very familiar with and did it in a great way. Sorry, guys. My fan was on. That should fix my audio a little bit. Sorry about that. Didn't realize it. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, Incident in a Ghost Land was an excellent movie from this year. If you guys haven't excellent. seen it, definitely watch it. Um, the Den is one. I'm looking back at our chat to see what else. Oh, there's and, still... And in the middle. I have such a lengthy list of ones that I still need to watch. I mean, May the Double Take You is one. The Farm just came out. I want to watch Tau. I want to watch Assassination Nation. We need to watch The Endless. I want to watch Hold the Dark, which is from the Blue Ruin and Green Room director. Mm -hmm. um, I still want to watch Monster Party. The Night Eats the World. I uh, Mandy, I the think. The Night is Eats e the World is is on uh, is on Prime Video. Um, yeah, but that's, the... that one's only like a, an hour and a half too. That's going to be a good one to get through. Yeah, and that's the one Stephen King had glowing things to say about. He's had uh, glowing uh, things to say about numerous movies this year. Yeah, he he said nice things about Cam, and Cam was eh, Cam was Cam was okay. Cam was just okay. Well, it, it had a bad ending, so of course Stephen King would like it. Hey, hey now. <laughs> He has some damn good endings. Yes. Other ones that I, other ones that you've watched that I still need to watch. Mandy is about to hit Shutter if it hasn't already. That one is excellent. Uh, I actually um, ordered that um, for Cyber Monday. I will be doing a yeah. Cyber Monday haul. Yay! Yeah. So knows. Yeah, I need to watch Veronica. I need to watch Bloodfest. I need to watch Piwacket. Bloodfest is definitely worth the watch. I that Her story that might be is on my list as well. Clover Hitch Killer, which is one that's still Hitch, about yeah, to come out that I'm very curious about. And then The Apocalypse is about to finally come out. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard good things about Possum. I'm curious about The Possession of Hannah Grace, which comes out tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. So that's at least the, the short list of things I still have to watch. But yeah, I have my best and I have a pretty extensive worst as well thus far as I look at uh, my going list right now. Yeah. And so, hey, this is one thing that I need to address. So initially... Uh, I've been planning this big spoilers book club discussion uh, with the Hail the Stephen King content yeah. for this Saturday, and that was obvious and about Pet Cemetery because everybody read it this month. Mm -hmm. And so, whereas we did a non spoilers, you and me and Marcia, we're gonna have the big live spoilers discussion. Okay. Obviously, obviously, we can't do that on Saturday now because of the fact oh. that we're gonna be be out, out in Cali, and oh, no, then we'll be at the thing. Yeah. And then you I told people I was earlier in the day if you wanted. 
Well, we're going to have to figure something out because on the Joe Hill video where I was hyping up our review of Nosferatu coming up that I put up last night where I was telling people, hey, you need to read this. Cecil and I are going to be reviewing that in Wraith coming up next month. I was like, I'm going to try to do it on Friday. But that was before I knew I was going to get all of Saturday covered and we would drive out Friday. I thought we were going to drive out Saturday. So now I need to figure out when, like, when we'll actually, when I can do it. So therein lies a dilemma. Off to, off topic here, obviously, but let's we'll see how we're looking. All right, we got nine people watching. I think this is yeah. uh, how the, good either of you two know how the new Amityville ended up. Um, Wences, we did actually. We reviewed Amityville: The Awakening, Marsha and I. So yes, um, it was terrible. It was fucking horrible. So don't waste your time. Uh, Jawbone Kid is here. Ms. Morning is here. Yeah, Ms. Morning. What up? What up? And Adam Snugs is here. Adam Snugs and Trent Davis. Do you watch WWE? No, I used to watch WCW. I did for a long, long time. I watched WCW in the era of Goldberg and the Wolfpack. Um, that's that's when I watched uh, wrestling. I was never a big WWE fan. I didn't not like them. I just happened to be a WCW guy when I was brought in. Mwets, Mwets is back. Um, <clears throat> I yes, was we huge. Did. I played into... God of War. We actually have a Let's Play of God of War on the channel, Adam. Sorry. Go ahead, Fuego. No, I was just going to say, I was huge into the World Wrestling Federation, and uh, I mean, even before the Attitude Era, but the Attitude Era was where I finally got cable, and then I was able to watch, although at that time, I was more of a fan of ECW and Heyman before Vince McMahon bought WCW and bought ECW, uh, and it was just funny because everybody was biting on ECW at the time by doing more hardcore and violent stuff, and I mean, shit, man, they poached so many of their wrestlers, like rvd the whole fucking show and various various others dudley boys and the list goes on and on but yeah for a while i was a big fan and then when john cena came along i pretty much stopped watching so there you go <laughs> i, I hate john you cena. have vitriol for john cena. i hate john cena <laughs> sucks anyway john cena yeah, fuck such a freaking uh well he he showed up about the time at this point well, he's, he, he doesn't even have the same persona that he did that turned me off so much where he was the white rapper guy and all that, which I thought was just so stoops. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Distracted by that question. Just to Yeah. Oh, you can tell. I used to love that stuff. <laughs> Crap. We got Fuego talking sports. Restroom break. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, so I'm wearing, my, so I'm wearing my, my son's jersey and yeah. watching them losing to the Clippers right now on the other screen. I anyway. I calling you out on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's sports entertainment it's different and it gets bloody and violent or at least it used to yeah but. yeah yeah all right yes fuego is very much into sports the beast um honestly i i've been saying i haven't been saying i have said probably once or twice that um fuego could do like a sports sort of thing you know every now and again on the channel if he wanted mercer uh, and i have talked about doing a sports podcast many yeah, times yeah absolutely <laughs> Um, the, uh, and, oh, Jawbone Kit was the one trying to help us out with the, with the, with the, uh, goodie from the Purge Maze if we had downloaded the, or if we had gotten the password. Jawbone Kit, to be honest with you, I saw the instructions, I still didn't follow it, and I was in the middle of, you know, the park and trying to record, so I just couldn't, I couldn't focus and figure it out, so unfortunately we did not. It was a little med kit with band-aids, wipes, and burn cream. No, yeah. we, we did not get that, but... We were lucky enough to get coverage Burn of cream. all of the mazes. So if you guys didn't know, we've been slowly letting out all of our walkthroughs of all of the Halloween Horror Nights mazes. Um, I'm putting up tomorrow, actually tomorrow, the first purge. As a, as a matter of fact, Job Kid, very appropriate. Tomorrow uh, morning, uh, or tomorrow at about noon, uh, Mountain Standard Time, our first purge maze walkthrough is going live. So that's a very appropriate comment, Job on Kit. Thank you very much. Tomorrow, tomorrow. We did a walkthrough. We filmed our walkthrough, and um, we are presenting it tomorrow for the first Purge Maze. Very, very timely comment. That's one of those weird ah. things like Fuego's video the other night. Which one? When you got the book that you were reviewing after you did Oh, video. from Scott Baker. Yeah, big, 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 big thanks to Scott Baker for that. I couldn't believe it. That was, like, so shockingly timed. All right, guys, so I think it's about get time to, to get to the announcements. So um, basically what, what is happening is Fuego did miss our last trip to California, but we California. are going back. <laughs> California. California. Anyone that knows the wizard 
knows what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, <laughs> Mario Brothers 3, yo. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3! 3. Yeah. Yeah, he's so excited about it. Uh, and should have been. What a fantastic movie. Oh. Hey, Fuego, I didn't even... You, we, there was no pre-talk about me guessing The Wizard. Um, I just know that we're both awesome. So, um, Basically, guys, here's the thing. We are coming back to L.A. this weekend. We are going to be there Friday through Sunday. And the reason we are coming out is because we got invited to go to the screening, the uh, the not only screening, the oh, world premiere, premiere right? and cast and crew party for Hanukkah. Uh, the, uh, the brand new horror movie starring Sid Haig. Produced by our buddies uh, from Mad Monster, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Produced by a, a couple of people from Mad Monster um, and edited by, uh, by one as well. I'm not sure exactly what I'm allowed to say, so I'm being a little bit cagey, but I'm going to pull up the poster so everyone can see the movie I'm talking about. Uh, moving over our horror show logo, doing the work, doing the work, doing the work. Um, do and work, do and work, but work. Girl, work it. Oh, work that thing. Gonna make it rain because you're driving me insane. Ba bam. Ba bam. Here's That's the poster. Crispy Cream 2012. All right, I got the poster going. It's all right. Good. All right. So, guys, yeah. Monica. <laughs> Oh, and theirs was just candles lit. Okay, so that's it's, but it's a, oh, it's cool. It's, it's, a, a, it's the bones, it's a, yeah. Uh, so, so mine is going to be different, but I need to fix it. I need to find the right menorah in order to be able to do it. A terrifying <laughs> new tale. Yes. Oh, that's that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, dude. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, the world premiere of Hanukkah is this Saturday at seven p.m. And you can actually get yourself a ticket if you're in the area. They are selling admit two passes. And what they're actually doing is um, all of the proceeds, or at least a portion of the proceeds, I'm not sure whether it's a portion or all, but in either case, it's fantastic because the proceeds are going to Scares That Care, who are some awesome people that we actually met and interviewed at Mad Monster AZ um, this past year in 2018. That interview is available yeah. on the channel. Uh, but guys, uh, this is is such a cool thing. It's Sid Haig's newest movie, um, where he plays, I believe he plays the Hana Killer. Um, I'm not uh, sure exactly how it plays out, but the trailer is available, the teaser trailer, and he is being interrogated about being the Hana Killer. And um, his acting is really tremendous in the trailer. We really liked the teaser trailer that we watched when we did our reaction. We wanted more. That's what a good teaser does. Indeed. So that's basically the link is already in the description box. I think I got it in there finally. Let me make sure I did. Uh, nope. I that's what she it. said. Doggone it. Oh, I need to check the email to get the link. Okay, here we go. I am putting the link into the description box as we speak, my friends. So you guys, anyone in the LA area uh, will be able to get yourselves a ticket to go to this premiere so here we go boom i'm looking for it i just put it in it'll update it just says all changes saved so it should update from now oy vey the puns <laughs> yeah mikey <laughs> um all right so uh yes guys uh, that is what we're going to be doing so actually we are going out on friday night the premiere isn't until Saturday. The event is from Saturday, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And it's at the TLC Chinese, the or is it the TCL Chinese Theater? I can't the remember. TCL. I just always call it the World Famous Chinese Theater. Yeah, the World Famous Chinese Theater where all of the hand and footprints are out in front. Um, you got to see a portion of it in our day one California vlog with myself, Susie, and Marsha. Now, Fuego and I will be vlogging this time. So it'll be a different vlog. It'll be him and I instead. I'm not sure if we're going to record our reviews of all these movies in the car or actually on site, but um, we're going to be out and about. And if you guys are in the LA area, hit us up in the comments down below or hit us up at our email address, thehorrorshow666 at yahoo.com. And let so us should, know. Should, should we try to like 
think of a time and a specific place for daytime in like close by like yeah, i mean I what mean, we're, uh, dude we're gonna be on hollywood boulevard the place we're staying is on hollywood boulevard or sunset boulevard we're gonna be sunset or hollywood sunset, sunset. sunset. Uh, we're staying on sunset uh, oh i heard sun i hear sunset is trash but trashy fun. yes mm -hmm. yes trashy fun but yeah. it is walking distance to the chinese theater so mm -hmm. um if anyone wants to come and meet us then we are going to be available. And I know, Fuego, you have a ton of Hail to Stephen King fans. Some, I imagine, will be in uh, California. Maybe. Perhaps. Yeah, Adam Snugs. I live 15 minutes away from that theater. Hollywood is a disgusting city, but it's amazing. Yes, it is. It's a cesspool of creativity, right? <laughs> so Jawbone Kid says we need to visit the Death Museum. I am absolutely open to doing that and filming it. Fuego, mm. are you down? I... Cecil I Blue guess Blue. I'm open to suggestions. So, uh, yeah, I haven't been out to like the LA Hollywood area in like a decade because I hate LA. And uh, yeah, there's there's that. I I was Adam, engaged. Adam even says Museum of Death is awesome. Okay, that's a must so, do then. Uh, well, there you go. Yeah, I, I was engaged. This was like ten years ago. The last time I was there, and me and the lady at the time we. Went and saw all the sites and handprints and Chinese theater and all that craziness. So I'm curious how much grosser it is now. <laughs> I'm sure it's a good deal grosser. <laughs> but, but it's okay. You'll have me there to protect you, Fuego. Yes, you're my bodyguard because I'm so frail and smell. And I... Sorry, I had to go for it. I'll always love you too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> East, East LA. LA. Some hmm. of the best food you'll ever have. Um, can I meet Teach while I'm there? Hey, Fuego, while we go out there, let's go to Trejo's Tacos. Um, Yeah. Sure. Either that or King Taco. We went to King Taco last time we were there, and mm. uh, David and I went. And David doesn't even like Mexican food, but David really liked what he got, and I uh, loved we have, it. We, you know, we have pretty goddamn good tacos here in uh, the deadly desert of Arizona too. So I don't know. I guess well, I'd be. I mean, what what would be like the the typical food for? For LA, I guess it would be Mexican food. Mexican probably. food, yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, no, there's probably a bit of, ch of good Chinese somewhere. I'm um, always down for that. But... Yeah, me too. Well, and we gotta try some pizza too, dude. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna get so blasted on Friday night, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if the plan was for Friday or for Saturday for that. I, I well, thought we Saturday... gotta we gotta actually film on Saturday, so we gotta be careful. Uh, Once we're done filming, I... we can cut loose. Yeah, that's why I thought sad, but then we gotta drive back Sunday. So, and are we gonna do news or like anything on Sunday, or what do you I, think? I, yeah, I well, want uh, to. I mean, we can. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind just staying in LA a little bit longer and doing our filming there, and then just coming back, and you can go home, and I can do the edits and stuff after that. Um, well, we could do some you know, actions to... when we get back and stuff, but let's let's try yeah. and film as much as we can there. It Up might down. be worth it for us to drive an extra hour to the beach, do a couple reviews on the beach or something. Yeah. Think, think about it. I mean, I don't know, man. We it's it's you all gotta think us. about it. Think think about it. I mean, we uh, you know we could go to Universal City. We were just there, but there's a lot of cool shit there. I mean, a lot of fun stuff. It's dusty, obviously, but. I mean, Josh can tell us the cool stuff to do, too. We're, we're staying I just with want, my buddy Josh. So. I just Josh, good, by the way, who's just worked with Patton Oswalt. I just Oswalt want was good. Even something he directed. I mean, I just want good non-chain food is what it really boils down to. Good non-chain food. Dude, I mean, sometimes it just takes beating the pavement. That I, that, that I can't get to in uh, in Arizona. Oh, so Adam I, says it's pouring rain right now. Yes! Oh, shit. That'll be great for trying to film with cameras. Well, okay. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you and the weather trying to raid on my parade? I haven't even looked at the forecast for the upcoming week. Let's uh, maybe we should look at the weekend <laughs> forecast. No, Beast, you're right. Uh, won't sound quality be a problem at the beach? Well, no, not necessarily. We have um, we have towels and stuff, yeah, right? We, we have lavalier mics we can bring, and then um, the the vlogging cam with the zoom mic is actually really good. I filmed myself on the beach at my Mexico vlog that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, Dave hasn't helped me edit it yet, but. Um, I filmed myself talking to the camera on the beach, and it actually, it, honestly, it's it's pretty peaceful outside of my fucking voice. Okay, well, as I look, at, uh, so Wednesday and Thursday, it's total downpour over there, but they're saying it's uh, Friday, Saturday, partly cloudy, high of 68 and 62, and then totally sunny, high of 62 Sunday, so yeah, we'll be fine. Hang on, um, the stream just crapped out a little bit. Oh, no! 
Oh, I remember Maurice the Beast. What up, Maurice? Um, guys, hang on. The the stream is messing up. Um, give me just a second. You know, one thing that I was just thinking, <laughs> since good that we're off camera for this. Um, oh, we're back. Oh, we're back? Yep. <laughs> And we're yeah. We're back with a green stream though. <laughs> Flake literally right before it came on, Fuego's like, "All right." And then it's good thing we're off camera for this. And I'm like, "We're back." <laughs> and we're back. And it's gone. What's up, everyone? Hello, welcome back. Yes. No, I was um, like, like before we cut the stream out. I was going to address Adam because I had some friends all the way up in the Bay Area that were telling me they're like, "Yeah, we had Apple like." on their iPhones updating like a brand new sort of weather thing for like the air quality because there was like so much ash from all the fires and stuff even all the way up there into Northern California and shit which is pretty pretty nuts so I, I've actually never been up north to Northern California Bay Area I haven't been to Portland Seattle any of the Northwest at all so maybe someday wow and it just went fuzzy again for some reason on the stream let me uh let me drop fuzzy, down fuzzy, what's it there I'm going to drop down to, to, that is a funny thumbnail. Yeah, that thumbnail is, Nick Cannon's hilarious, that thumbnail's hilarious. All right, we're back. Hopefully we'll be less fuzzy, guys. Sorry about that. We're back now. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that movie, Kevin Smith fans. Sorry about yeah. that. So he's the mayor in that, another wolf cop, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh boy! <laughs> wow, it, I think it just screwed up again. Hang on, hang on. Let me re re up re upload it here and re, re, refresh the page. Is what I'm, going for. I'm refreshing the page. Where's that genius producer slave when you need him? Yeah, he's outside. Dave, stream complete. Why does it say stream complete? No, I'm going. Stream resumed. Stream is going. Is the stream fresh? I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Yeah, Maurice saw it. There you go. All right. Well, it looks like we're back. No, it's yeah. It's taking forever to load. It's still fuzzoid status. Jeez. Okay. Well, now now it looks okay, and now it's frozen. Yeah, I have I have good internet. We have good speed. We have perfect upload speed. It's YouTube this time, dude. It's literally YouTube this time, guys. Is it our Skypeage? You think? No, it's YouTube. Hmm. I have perfect upload speed and perfect download speed. I have eight hundred download and thirty seven upload. There's no reason this should be happening. This is YouTube. Hmm. And we have 22 people watching. <laughs> God bless. Well, it doesn't look terrible. It just says output low. But it looks like it's coming through okay right now. It's a little fuzzy. And damn it, YouTube, you had one, one job. job. One job, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> God damn it. Well, it, no, it's uh, bad, but it, it's it's not skipping or anything. It actually doesn't look terrible to me. I got to shout out the Beast real quick because of the fact that I've always been fascinated by Australia because of the fact that... Uh, welcome to the buffer zone. <laughs> Look, okay, we're back green on my end here. We're back green again. Okay. And we're fuzzy again. Son of a bitch. And fuzzy was he was a bear. No, I've always fuzzy been... Fuzzy was he had no hair. Hair, yes. I've always been fascinated by Australia, though, for the sheer fact that there's so much shit in Australia, especially it's oceans that can kill you. They're the most oh, deadly oceans, oceans in the world. The freaking, there's so many critters on land that can kill you. Yeah, but, dude, if we're talking, like, the Australia ocean... Australia is Mother Earth, most, like, condensed... Some of the most beautiful oceans in the world, and yet you've got great white sharks, you've got sea snakes, you've got box jellyfish, you've got saltwater crocodiles. I mean, box jellies. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so many, and so many handsome actors. Wow. <laughs> yeah, if I could do that, I would do it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, we're fuzzy again, guys. I don't know. This is YouTube's fault that we're fuzzy. I apologize. I've got Diana. perfect connection speed. But these mother effers are making us look terrible. Many mother effers ucking with my shit. Well, does anyone have any other questions? Yes. Once again, reiterating to the... Oh, Jesus. We just dropped seven viewers at once. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, ah, you know, YouTube. Snakes. That's pretty dope. Um, yeah, spiders eat snakes. Yeah, that's that's no bullshit. It, it, and, like, plants eat you. It's, it's crazy. Um, 
So it's own, it is its own continent. I mean, come on now. <laughs> and then, uh, and then they have drop bears for. <laughs> 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 yep, I know all about drop bears. Thanks to Kevin Smith Mike. warning yeah. us. Mike is so funny. <clears throat> um. So all right. Well, are there any other questions or anything you guys have? The to recap real quick for those just joining or coming late. We are going to be going back to California this coming weekend. Uh, going that would be back guess, to Cali, Cali. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's going to be Before. November thirtieth to December second. We'll be in uh, L.A., California, and we're going to be attending the premiere of this very movie right underneath my left hand here, Hanukkah. Um, they're doing the premiere at the Chinese Theater at seven p- from seven p.m. to eleven p.m. It is actually. A, uh, a cast and crew party afterwards and um, you can join by clicking the link in the description box under to get a ticket for the Hanukkah premiere in LA you guys can yes. join if you're out there come um, say what's up come let's say hello get a, get a drink with us afterwards or something that would be dope fun hells to the yeah dope man please can I have another hit no all right well I'm not gonna go ahead and make everyone suffer through this fuzzy ass freaking thing that this youtube is making us do right now so oh the beast too soon too soon <laughs> well we got through it so um i'm gonna say thank you guys very much for watching um if you're gonna be out there again comment down below or um email us at the horror show 666 at yahoo.com and yes uh, arizona did get hit by a meteor yeah at once upon a time for sure have, have you been to that that so, huge that huge sunset crater sunset crater yeah we went there as a, as a school trip when i was a kid yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's like, huge. It's huge. It's insanely big. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, Beast says it's cleared up now. It doesn't look cleared up to me. Does it look cleared up to you? Not on my end, but I mean, yeah. he's in Australia. So. Australia. <laughs> Australia. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, <clears throat> either way, thank you guys very much for watching. I think that's a good place to call it because Fred yeah. has to get up for work in the morning. Oh, no, it does look good. No, does I refreshed my page and it actually does look good now. Well, I'll try the same. See how we're looking. Yeah. No, it looks really great now. Oh, wow. Actually, yeah. It looks all <laughs> We're like, it holy looks shit. All right, it looks good. All right. Well. Come in and know me better, man. Anyone else have any questions since we're looking good again? <laughs> Jeez. Um, all right. Well, I guess we can end it anyway. Fuego, thank you for jumping on with me and doing this. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. So I've got to go and fix the thumbnail. But um, we appreciate it, you guys, for joining us. Um, I've got videos... I think uh, I've got videos pretty much scheduled through the rest of the week. Except uh, for us trying to figure out when we're going to do the the hail spoilers for Pet Cemetery, and so we'll have to we'll have to discuss that. And I'd say just stay stay and keep your eyes on the horror show social medias for us to maybe have a specific meetup at some particular point over the weekend if you're in the LA area. Absolutely, and click the link uh, in the description box to join our Patreon or. Click the bell at the very least and subscribe to the channel so that way you can see when we uh, go up and do these kinds of things. Thank you very much, y'all. We appreciate you. I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias. I've been Jaime in Fuego. And remember, stay stay scared. scared. Good morning, Mikey. Oh, I guess I got to sign us off now. Yes, you do. Bye.